Oftentimes when doing machine learning, you're going to have data that you're going to have some missing data within it and it will kind of need to be cleaned up before you can put it in a machine learning algorithm. Otherwise, it's going to error back at you. So in this video, I'm going to show how you can handle missing values within ML.NET. Specifically, I'm going to show how you can indicate missing values. And then once you indicate those, how you can replace those missing values. All right, so I have Visual Studio loaded here with the console project. And I already have ML.NET installed version 1.4. And we're doing the housing data. So, and I already have the input schema loaded as well. So we can start loading that data. And like always, the first thing we do is to create a new ML context. And then we're going to read in our data from the CSV. Load from text file using the housing data schema I just showed earlier. As a header and a separator, it's going to be a comma. Next, I'm going to get my columns here. So I'm going to use the data at schema. It's going to get the schema that it loaded from the, the file there. I'm going to use some link magic to select the column names. And I'm going to filter out where the column name doesn't equal label and where the column name doesn't equal and where column name doesn't equal the ocean proximity. So we don't want it to include our label column or the ocean proximity, which is a categorical column. And I'll just set that to an array. Next, to indicate our missing values, I create a little pipeline here, and I use a transform to concatenate all the those columns into a features column. And next, use another transform called indicate missing values. And similar to some other transforms that we used, it has the output column name, which I call missing values and the input column name, which is going to be features. And with that pipeline, we need to fit the data with it. Then I'll go ahead and transform the data with that pipeline. And that produces a an odd that data view. And so we can look at what that data is. I'm going to create an enumerable from that. And I'm going to put it into a new class here called missing data. I'll define that in a bit, but I'll pass in here the null values and I'll tell it to reuse the row object as false. And I'll set that to an array as well. So let's create this missing data class here. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to inherit from the housing data. So it's going to append onto the housing data items. And with that, I'm just going to have a single property. It's going to be a Boolean array. And now it's going to be called missing values. All right, now I can traverse through this data here since it's an array. I'm going to do a for loop and it's going to be the null data that length and if that null data the missing values on that has any where 
it's true. You get the indexes of all the missing values. Because it comes in, it's going to come in for each column. It's going to come in whether it's true or false. So I'm checking if any of them, if any columns come in true. Right here, I'm going to get the indexes of the columns where it does equal true. So missing values, I select, get the value in the index. And so if there is a value, I'm going to get the index. Otherwise, I'll do negative one. And I'll filter those where the index doesn't equal negative one. So I only get the indexes that have missing values. And I'll set that to an array. And for each of these items, each of these indexes that have indicated that are missing, I can get the feature by looking at the columns based on that index. And I can write out What feature was marked as missing and I can tell it what row it's in since we have this index up here there we go now let's do a console reline so the console doesn't disappear on me Let's try running this and see what we get here. And of course, once again, I forget to mark the CSV file that to copy. So let's try that again. There we go. So housing median age in the first row has a missing value total rooms and row four has a missing value. So we can double check this. So housing median age, no value. You got total rooms has a no value. Sweet, so now that we indicated our no values, let's replace these items. For that, I'm gonna create a new transform for it. So I'm going to do the same concatenate transform. And I do another transform called replace missing values. My output column will be new values. And I'll pass in the features. And then there's uh, another parameter, which is going to be the replacement mode. That says how you want to replace these items. You can do default value, which is going to be the default of whatever type the column is. So it's a float, it's going to be 0, 0.0, and if it's Boolean, it's going to be false, and so on. You can do the maximum value, what's in that column, the mean value of the column, or the minimum of the column. I'll just do the mean value here. And with the transform, we will call fit on it. With our data and then transform on it. And then like a, above, we're gonna call the create enumerable so we can look at it. And this calls for another class here, kind of like we did up here for the mixing values. I'm going to do, create a new one called replaced values. That takes in replaced values. And reuse object as false. And I'll call to array on it. Now let's create this replaced values class. And we'll do the same thing. We're going to inherit from the housing data. Do a single property, it's gonna be 
an array of floats, and we call it new values. And I'll do a for loop. And for each of the replace data dot, dot length, and for each index in the missing values items. But fortunately, there's no way to get that right now. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to create a class field here, private static. It's going to be read only. It's going to be a dictionary. It's going to be integer key and integer value. It's going to call it missing indexes. And then down when we get our missing indexes for each of that indexes, I'm going to add that row index and the missing value index into it. So now down here, for each of those that I get, if the current index matches the index that key, so it's on the current row that has the missing value, we'll write out Our new value. We so replaced data for that index. The new values at the missing data value index here. So let's run that and see what that looks like. All right, so we have our two missing values that we indicated. Our first one is the new value is the median house age the mean value of that. And the next one is the median value of the total rooms. All right, everyone. So that's kind of a quick way to, on how you can indicate your missing values in your data and how you can replace those missing values. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Thanks.